Welcome to Smokey the Proof Korea. I'm your boy Journalist, and on this one, we are here for the next installment of BTS albums. This one is going to be Dark and Wild. I see that they had the uh, What Am I To You uh, comeback trailer. I don't know if it's a music video or not, so I was like, I should check this out first before we do the first song. So that's what we're doing, and also to make the announcement. Also, if you've been watching the channel, we have some set changes and s equipment changes coming back as well. So, um, yeah, if you want to explain the video, let me know in the comments, and then I'll kind of break everything down. If not, we'll just keep it rolling with the music and everything, and yeah, we'll just do that. Thank you guys for joining me. If you could, please hit that like, subscribe, Patreon's in the description, and let's get into this. <laughs> something else though come here i'm about to take you higher we about to set this love on fire you don't look them charm ya how my don't move malia they change your mind how could you go do that and that guy just baby you should know you change all of my negatives to positive cash it is so good with you man push we still know you change me the cash come not to get mad and just tell me no that's how to the last thing that's okay my nigga talk with i get hot get touch you in that not the gopa that nigga cutting up so quick, I can't. I'm hearing the flow before I can read the words. I'm like, Nick, slow down. But he's chopping. He he cooking. It's still hard. <laughs> it's like nigga. I know. Well, no, that's that's nigga. I mean, nigga is the word that makes me giggle. But when I still see open now, even though I understand the, the cultural context, I'm still just like, it's a crazy one. It's because I'm growing up in the South, so when we be her brother, it's just, it's hard for my brain to translate it properly. <laughs> Even though I take my eyes off you, I can't take my mind off you. So, Jai just she the gear. Now it's the beginning. Oh, you like her starter Pokemon? Oh, that's cute. That's cute. This is very, this is very cutesy. I'm your Pokemon monster. No, don't mind me, Jugo. I don't have my mom touch your slur. Oh, nerdy. Oh, Jeff Bolt, I hang. No, don't mind me, Jugo. I don't have my mom touch your slur. Oh, nerdy. There's two different words for heart in Korean. Cause I like how you use it. I don't. I feel like I'm understanding the the language breakdown or the sentence that he's saying in Korean, but like how it's structured. The last word should be the heart that I'm getting translated in English. So there's two different words for heart, but I like how he's rhyming that. That's hard. <laughs> Is this, does the R and mixtape come out around this time? Because the flows from that and this right now are matching quite the same. And then also to ask for the space on the intro of an album. To predominantly be the only voice that we're probably going to hear for the intro is a big it's a big uh, stake is a group to allow but it's also one that is a rapper when you're like in that space i feel like he was when he was making the art mixtape you have a belief in your voice and the necessity of it that you would ask for this type of positioning on this album are these in the same time frames 
갔어 조금은 달달하게 막대가 쏟아지진 않아도 남들처럼 활짝 닫히고 때론 위로와 진심을 담아서 서로를 위하는 것 네가 몸이 커진 것도 understand 난 항상 너의 밑에 서 있으니까 understand 널 봄바처럼 바치고 있는 stand 난 항상 때론 위로와 Some of my sauce, so do we have it caught? Nigga, mommy, call John God to understand. And how's I know him? But I always stand and understand. This nigga listened a little way. If I did know this nigga listened a little way before, I know he listened a little way now, guys. So he said he got understand. No one watch what I'm watching. Go in them, and I'm a good dog. How you go up so on? I said, "Suck one in the body, suck so." No dog touch to not put the one tag away. Nigga, I'm so gadi. I'm in gun, I'm in gun. They're not jacking, they're jacking. I'm part of my kind of mock. I'm too jab at you. You got books, I'm the only true daddy. You got that? I want you to say, "Oh baby, don't you play." Nigga, put your head up, don't put your head up. She got a gift, but I'm not just about money. This time I'm more than that. No bitch, I'm not just in my track. 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 Feels like you feel like you're fucking crazy, cause you just want so much from that person. You try and give so much to them, but now you're getting like mixed signals, or like you don't know what the fuck's going on. And now you're just like, what the fuck am I to you? But like, niggas, people, don't do that. Ask with much more calmness. But it's okay to be direct. But don't hit them with that aggression. Like, what the fuck am I? Like that that doesn't come off well. It just feels a little desperate as well. Like it's no good. It's no good. It's okay to ask that question, but with not as much desperation packed into the statement. <laughs> See, this is where it's like, yeah, I, I hope I'm right about him making an R mixtape around this time. Because if I am, I can see the, like the, the crossover. Because Jesus, yo, you asked for three minutes for no boys. Like, none of you niggas is talking. None of you. And he's the leader, so technically can he make those type of unilateral decisions. Like, boys, I know this is what we're going to have to do for the first thing they go here. They're not going to hear none of you niggas. Oh, that's some faith and trust in a nigga as well. Because, like, you asking for us to not say nothing. And like say I'm like a big headed person in the group. <laughs> you you don't want me to say something for the first three minutes. Like that's ah uh, that's some bravery. That's some bravery. How I feel about the song. I like it from two perspectives. I have to judge it for what I hear it as a the intro to a project. And as an intro to a project, I feel like it's at an odd. It's exactly where it needs to be. Like it's almost a ten, but I don't feel like the lyrics should be mine or that I want them. So it it can't be a ten. But I give it like a nine point two for an intro to the project, especially to see the maturity in from the school days. Even if we're still in school days type of shit, but like there's a maturity in each project that I'm seeing. That in this one, this is where I feel like now you're trying to speak to niggas that might be the ages of 17 to 20 is the the age range we're trying to make music for with this particular project this is pretty good for an intro how i feel personally though it's like it's like an eight because i don't find anything else wrong with it besides would i want to play it again and it's for two reasons no one, I'm just not in this phase of my life that this is speaking to me in that way, so I don't need this type of messaging. But then two, because I used to be in this phase of my life, it feels very vulnerable to listen to this type of shit again because it's like, well, I don't want to feel these feelings again, especially with how things are going in my life right now. I don't have to ask these questions, or if I'm concerned, I can go ask, and they are communicated directly back to me with open direct communication so i don't have these problems but 
I, I remember this time. This is no good time, but it's a great representation of that time. So I, that's why I don't particularly would like to listen to it again. So that's why I'm not like throwing it on a mixtape or a playlist. However, I will say that I can see this being somebody's like angsty workout song, but one that kind of gets you kind of going in your run. You start off there and it helps you finish off your last little bit because you know like ah. I just got that like extra vim at the end of it. I could really see people using it for like workout records. Uh, I wonder if this would be that good live. I feel like in an intimate place, it would be really dope. But like, if we open a concert up with this, I don't know if I'd really particularly enjoy it. But you guys have seen our concerts. You guys should let me know. And don't give me the the bias. We we love the BTS boys. You know this gang them. I fuck with them. It's more so for the show's impact. Does this hit? for an intro for the show or is it good just laced into a set because i feel like laced into a set like latter half of a show or middle of a show or after a transitional break this would be very good but if we're opening the show with this fuck what do we follow up with because this it kind of brings the, the the vibe almost down but does give us the ability to really just kind of do whatever i don't know it might be really good live. So you guys will let me know. That said, though, uh, I look forward to checking out the rest of this album. You know how these work. I have to do them song by song. Otherwise, uh, YouTube is going to be some hater-ass bitches, and then they won't allow me to put them up, and then nobody gets to see them. So, yeah, this will be on a playlist for everybody to see. And, yeah, that's how that goes. Thank you guys very much for joining me. If you could, please hit that like, subscribe, Patreon's in the description. And then also, if there's any funny BTS videos you guys want me to check out, please put those in the description as well, and I'll get to those as soon as I can. And, yeah. I'll be doing the J-Hope documentary thing for Disney sometime this week. That's my plan. And, yeah, any other things I said in the video, just chat to me in the comments, and we'll go from there. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out of here.